Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. As I think we have now definitely established, Vault Hunters is all about running vaults. Well, in the last episode, uh, making the next vault run is going to be a little bit more of a journey. Yep. We need to defeat Ender Dragon and come for the end. So uh, I have all the other ingredients for this, as you can see, but we, we need to take a trip. But before that, there are a couple of preparations that we need to do, one of which is head on over here, because to go to the end, we need a little bit more Ender Pearls. Well, I want a few more Ender Pearls and a little bit more Blaze Rods, so that we can make some more Eyes of Ender, just in case some of them actually break. And it just so happens that we have Blaze and Enderman Spawn Eggs, so we should be able to, I think, if we add this in here, spawn a couple, get this out, get this in, and yep, that should be good. Get out of here, do this, uh, wait for my thing to reset. Oh, Endermans are going to spawn everywhere else because they're gonna take damage. Okay, didn't quite think about this, but we can do this, and that should... Do the trick, I think. Yep, yep, I think. I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, this amount of Eye of Ender is probably going to be <laughs> decent. <laughs> that was so easy. Wow. So easy, in fact, that I forgot to put the end of the spawn eggs back in. And next up, I want to expand this crystal making area because currently we only have this space here. It feels a little bit cramped. I want to expand it a little bit. Um,. And I have all the blocks required, I just need to basically clear a little bit of a path. And that I'm going to use my shovel. I don't know how far back I actually want to put this or bring this, but I guess we'll just break a bunch of this dirt and fill it back out with, uh, with those blocks and we'll see how it looks when we're done with it, I suppose. So if I take my trowel and take these in my inventory, uh, is there any blocks I would learn? like to have more of than the other i don't think there is oh wait a minute hold on hold on hold on uh why do i have this cobble sandstone was made to you to yes so in case you didn't know if you want to make the rocky dirt it's this cobble sandstone in here and you can actually make quite a few different varieties of dirt which is kind of cool but for now I'm just gonna do this, and do I have gravel? I do have gravel, okay. So yeah, just gonna place this a bunch and fill out this entire area. Yeah, it's actually looking not too bad, I'd say. I actually like this way more than I did before, to be completely honest with you. This, I think, is much better. I don't like that. How do I get rid of that? Oh yeah, much, much better, and I think... With that, I'm going to take you there, take you there, take you there, you back down where you're supposed to be. I'm going to pick this up. I think I'm gonna place it like over here, I think, with the button now facing this way, this going right there. I'm gonna break you, place you like maybe over here, and take this and repla replace that with over here. Yeah, that's much better. Much more room to be working at. Yep, I like this. I like this change. This is good. And I can actually take some spruce slabs real quick and cover up these sides. And I think that that is actually going to look pretty decent. Yep, yep, I like that. And now I can take a well-deserved nap. And there is one other thing that I quickly want to do. We have 1260 something of these. I'm just going to take all of them. Now we have 1,800. And I'm going to buy this just because I can. Uh, empty description. Don't really care. Ooh, double pouch. That's cool. But yeah, I just want the knowledge star because we are collecting those. Add that to there. Now, after we have actually gone ahead and gotten this, the next thing that we want to do is run a vault that has inscriptions on it. But to do that, again, we need to for the end and that looks to be in that direction enable magnet can i catch it yeah i can indeed and so yeah ow. okay okay yep that, uh, that that's a great start on the journey that's yep it's in this direction and we're gonna go in please so okay broke three two one let's go <laughs> now i have no idea how far this is going to go i have not found the stronghold as of yet as you can clearly see on the map it's a spawner and ocean monument, but no stronghold whatsoever. 
I'm gonna have to make frequent stops to make sure we're on the right track and not going past it. Please give me that back. Thank you. Oh wait, uh, ooh, ee, uh, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Give me, give me that back. Please give me that back. Please, yep, okay, good. Uh, I can actually use this to get back home. I wanted to bring something, or I want to bring something. Waystone, I think is going to be a good thing to get. And they're actually fairly easy to make. All I need to quickly make is this, boom, boom, boom. We got another warp stone. And then we can convert that into a waystone, just so I can actually place that in the end, so that I don't actually have to fly all the way back and forth constantly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we can go. Whoa, take a look at this. Wow, that is very pretty. And also that is packed blue ice, isn't it? Or blue ice or whatever it's called. That's nice. This is an awesome island. Wow. Perfect time to test the eye of Ender. Yep, we're still going in this direction. Ooh, it's going back now. It's going back, so we passed it. Question is where? In this direction, probably. Is it underneath that mountain? It's probably gonna be underneath that mountain, isn't it? Let's see. Yep, it's still in this direction. All right, let's see again. Oh, it's back here now, so it's, it is actually underneath this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. If we run launch it again, it's going to lead over here. And then I'm pretty sure that next it's going to lead down. Yep, right down here. All right, here we go. Going down. It had to be in like a mountain, didn't it? it, it we're at Y level 120, or were anyway. This pickaxe is very fast. Uh, can I see anything on the map? Nope, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to have to hope that there's no cave underneath me. I should probably... Yep, do that, just in case. How far down is this? We're reaching Y level zero, past Y level zero. Um, I don't see a stronghold anywhere. Uh, going up? You, it led me here. This is the most confusing thing ever. Honestly, this is the most confusing thing ever. What? I mean, I did think that go this was going too low, but still. How? Still up? What? All right, Y level 50 now. Let's see. Oh, now it's down. Okay, now it's down. Yep, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Where is this thing? It's still down. Where did it even, where did it even go? Oh, now it... Huh? What? Where and how is this making any sense? Now it's up. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I think that the stronghold is supposed to be here, but it's not. Um, okay, right, well, what on earth do I do then? Oh, would you look at that, look at the minimap, so apparently, I did a little bit of research, and when using Terralith, apparently sometimes it can mess up the, uh, the spawns, so, but, so, the Ender Pearls, or Eyes of Ender, let me upwards and away from it, where, even though, despite that, it is actually here somewhere. And here we are. We found it. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was a very weird experience. Now I just have to find out where the portal room is located. And by the looks of things, this seems to be a very large... Oh, hi. This seems to be a very large stronghold. Oh, wow, a geode inside one of these. That's cool. Now I'm 100% gonna get lost in this. I don't intend to get back out the way that I came from. I just want to find the portal room. And I'm definitely not using the minimap to guide me around. Well, we found the library. Question is, do we even get anything useful from this? I don't think we actually do. Not at our stage at the game. However, books might actually be useful. So I will grab all of these. I don't know if it's something the Vault Alter uh, can actually ask for in recipes. But just in case, I will grab all these. Oh, I see it. I see it on the map. I see it on the map. There should be maybe a room over here. Or, you know what? I'll just make my way to it. That's what I'm gonna do, because I can. Yep, there we go. We have arrived. Break the spawner. Don't care about that. Hello, fellas. Anything useful in this? Mana seal? Mana seal. Probably not worth it, to be honest. Okay, so here we are. Finally, this took a while. <laughs> Um, well, I suppose I'm not even gonna set my spawn. I mean, I'm expecting this to go, excuse me, to go extremely, extremely 
fast, basically, because of uh, we, we're level f f 54, and yeah, I, this is this should go fast, but we'll see. I have my Lytra on, so I can't fall in the void. I have my Javelin, I don't have a bow, but this should be fine. Let's go. The end, here we are, and the dragon. Uh, right, so, let me just remember all my key bites. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. And I think I can use the Javelin for... Okay, I can't, so I still have to do this weird trick of doing this. That's fine, I can do that for sure. Weird how the Javelin doesn't work for that. Okay, last thing I want to do is getting blown up. <laughs> So, first things first, make sure to destroy the crystals. That's not gonna work. There we go. Gonna take one crystal at a time here. Basically, get this, come on, boom, nice. Fly down to the next one. Oh, this is super easy, and the shield came into effect there. That's awesome. Fly on over to this. This should, this, this is very easy, as I expected it to be. I did take some damage there. I did take some damage there. I didn't like it, but I did. <laughs> that was uh, that was scary. <laughs> that was very scary, actually. All right, get rid of you. Get this one next, and then we can jump down to this one. Deploy Lytra, and this should hurt the dragon quite a bit, actually. By me doing this, get this. Boom. Okay, no mind. It didn't. Final two. Get this one, and then this one that is in a cage. Boom, 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 boom. And that actually did quite a bit of damage. Now, all I have to do is wait for it to purge, I think is the right word. Wait for it to purge. And then this sword should basically annihilate it pretty quickly. I can wait. I can wait. It, it's very pretty, actually, in the end with these shaders. It's actually very pretty. I wonder, can I hit it in midair? What happens if I use javelin? Javelin didn't do much, actually. Oh, it's purging, it's purging, it's purging. Get ready, heal up, get in here, and this should... Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is... Oh, come on. That was too fast. That wasn't done yet. That wasn't done yet. Get back here, get back here. I should be able to take it out in midair. Look at that damage. I, I need more, I need more dash. I seriously need more dash. Okay, the javelin just doesn't work, apparently, or I just can't throw it far enough. There we go. Got a hit in. Or maybe that was the thorns. It might have been, actually... And there we go. Yep. And boom. Just, I think that was just thorns damage, honestly. But there we go. Nice. <laughs> that was easy enough. I'll take it. That was awesome. There we go. Get the XP. Like the XP. 79 levels. I mean, I suppose we should grab this now that we're here. Where did it drop? I'm sure I saw it over here. Oh, that is. I don't think I have anything that I can actually use to break it. Maybe iron bars? Nope. Nope, that didn't that that didn't work. Uh, I didn't bring a torch, people. I did. Oh, huh. I don't need to bring a torch. Go place a torch. Boom! Nice. We have the dragon egg. That's kind of cool. Now the next thing that I need to do is get one of you. Then uh, should I put the waystone? No, I'm not gonna place the waystone here because there's really not much for me to get here. If I want to go to back, to, if I need to go back to the end, it's to go to the islands, I would say. And this one really, really spawned in a long way from home, didn't it? And I think I could probably make that. Nope, I might. I can't. Bridge up, and now throw that in there. Boom, remote gateway, look at that. And now I can place you down, waystone, uh, the end. So I can always come back here. Oh wow, we spawned next to a city. <laughs> We spawn next to a city. I don't actually need a city. All I need is really just this. Uh, that was eight. Indeed, 32. I'm just gonna get a bunch. You know, might as well. And maybe two stacks or so. This honestly reminds me of my end survival series. If any of you guys actually remember that or were around when that was a thing. But there we go. That was that. We get our warp stone back home and complete the crystal. That was, was, was my thing. There we go. Home base. And we're back home. That's awesome. That is awesome. That was a good journey. That was actually a very nice and productive journey. A bit tricky in the at the beginning there, but I'll take it. I will take it. And we need 33 Chorus Roots, and just like that, boom, we have completed the crystal. Nice. Now, just out of curiosity, what will this require? Okay, that should be easy enough. 
Now, what I wanted to do with this crystal was to add a bunch of a living catalyst, five to be exact, because we have the capacity of 55, uh, 54, sorry. I could add more, but then the vault is going to get cursed and cursed would not be ideal. So I'm not gonna do that. Next, I would need some sort of inscription with living chest. I have none. And I need to make the decision whether or not it's going to be worth it to craft a mushroom inscription. Five living chest scrolls. I already have five more. Vault gold, inscription pieces, and echo gems. I think it will be because I'm hoping to get a lot, and I'm saying a lot of living chests because each of these is going to improve the living chest by 25%. So that is going to be four, 100, and then 125. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it because this is very expensive, but it is knowledge that I require, so I'm gonna do it. I just did it. I just did it. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. This could be a complete waste, but I have been wanting to do this for absolute ages. So I add the inscription. Oh, the inscription takes up a size. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I'm tempted to curse it. I'm tempted to curse it because my thought is how bad can it be? I know it can be really bad, but if all I'm doing is focusing on getting the living chests, it can't be that bad. I'm gonna do it. I just, I just, I just did. Uh, yes, I just did it. Okay, right. Uh, plus two hundred percent living chest, but eight random negatives and four curses on this crystal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear me. Um, right. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm scared a little bit. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. All of these are empty. I have my bounty set. Uh, okay. Um, how, how much is it? How bad is it if I die? 102. Okay, it's pretty bad. Let's go. Let's go. Let, let's just go and do this. Let's do this. So a map. Ooh, a map has been generated. I'm assuming that this is the center. So my, my job is to locate that. So I'm assuming that this is the center room. Or maybe actually the center room of the portal. So I'm assuming this is the first room. Then I need to go right. So out one, right, right, down. So out, right, right, forward. Okay, I think I can do that. Now let's take a look at what we got. We got one clumsy, so that is a minus 50% trap disarm. Oh dear. Uh, extra mob speed, onslaught, increased amount of mob spawns. Four cursed. Uh, so we have four curses. Chunky mobs, extra mob health. Uh, extra mob damage. Don't know what the curses are though. It doesn't look. This vault is cursed. It's collapsing. Void pools. Oh, have appeared. Some mobs are immortal and their attacks seem to have. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden very scared. Um. Yeah, I need to be careful. I. Oh, right. This. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Um. I can't touch those basically. Okay. Yep. That. That was scary. Ah, what even is this? This was a bad idea. I feel like this was a very bad idea. Um, okay, right. Uh, okay, run. <laughs> I just want to get my living chest, and I really hope that the living chests are not like. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Yep, this is fine. This is so not fine, actually. Now that I think about it. Ah, TNT everywhere. Ah, TNT everywhere. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah. T T T. Oh no. Oh no. No no. Get out. Get out. That is. That's harmful. That just cost me like two minutes. One minute or so. Okay. That that was the vault void. Okay. This was a really really bad idea, wasn't it? No. <laughs> okay. That's T T right there. The entrance. Uh, okay. Wait for that to clear. How's the mushroom room going to be? Oh no. I need to get past before that actually happens. Okay. That's more T N T. Go that way. Need to wait for that to explode. Go this way. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. 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 But this should be the mushroom room. Yes. I think it is. Uh, okay. okay. Right. We're here. Um, I'm not seeing uh, as many living chests as I would like to have seen. Um, but that's probably because a lot of it has been turned into. Yeah, I'm starting to think this has not been worth it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this and we're gonna see how much we actually get out of this. Um 
yeah, uh, okay, TNT does actually spawn in here as well, okay, and the uh, void thing, okay, okay, actually, you know what, never mind, I take it back, I take it back, so far, so good, TNT does spawn, I don't think it can actually destroy the chests, uh, okay, don't break stuff that is bad to break, uh, that doesn't make much sense, but okay, if the, I'm definitely getting this stuff, and then I'm getting out of here, ow, because this, this place is lethal, do I have any, I have, of course I have blocks, of course I have building blocks, okay, this is, this is, uh, stressful, okay, I mean, we're getting the knowledge, which is good, this is what I wanted to do, this is what I, this, ah, okay, nope, don't step in that, and that's trapped, that is trapped, um, so now we have mobs in here, and we have that, which I cannot step into, that is, and can be lethal, um, okay, we have some stuff up here, maybe if I jump up, do we have anything up here, we do actually have stuff up here, I need to take my time with this. I need to take my time with this. Otherwise, it's going to be wasted completely. Which I'm not going to be okay with. This is a lot. This is another trap. Okay. Unidentified noble charm. Ooh, we got a charm. This is... I think this is worth it, actually, now that I am seeing the results slowly. Yeah, okay. I almost stepped into that thing. I almost stepped into that. Almost did. But I didn't. But I almost did. Uh, how on earth do I get over here? How on earth? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to place you down there. Drop down. Avoid that black goo. Get this. Get this. Okay. Okay, that's another TNT launch. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Not, but it's fine. Okay, I think I got most of the top area. Now we're moving down to here. Ah, okay. Okay. TNT right there. Add TNT right over there as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad the chest can't break. That's another trap one. Okay. <laughs> and another trap one. Oh, and, okay. I took... Okay, trap this out. I did take trap this out of this, but to be fair, yeah, it's um, yeah, it, it's not really working when we, you have minus 50% trap disarm applied to your crystal. Okay, jump down here. There's a lot of chests here. Yep, get this stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Heal up a bit, just in case. Despite this vault being cursed this much, I do still think that it's been worth it because we're still not done and I think we've gotten so much out of this already. Oh, don't get close, okay. There's just explosions happening everywhere. Get into that. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that. That is so bad. <laughs> that could kill me in an instant if I'm not careful. Look at it, it's flowing everywhere. Oh boy. Now I need to be careful because I got a lot of these guys waiting here and um, yeah, it's not gonna be good. We'll have to get rid of all of you guys, sorry. Okay, be very careful. We're on the ground now, so anything could happen. Get this thing. Yep, very good. Get this uh, TNT. Somehow I missed this thing over here. Around a little bit. Okay, we're starting to get there, starting to get there, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes remaining, actually less, but you know. Get this, get this, and I think that that is potentially most of it. Like, I don't think I see more living chests, honestly. I obviously don't want to miss anything, but I think I've taken everything from up there that I could see. Then on this floor, and then down here... I think I've taken all the things that I had that I was able to see as well from a top and yeah, I think that's it. So now I need to head back. <laughs> so my vault room is in that way. I need to go back the way I came from, which is um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's gonna be interesting. Oh boy. We won't know the result of this journey until I actually get back home with my life intact. Oh wait, hold on. I missed one. Missed the chest up there. Yeah, okay, TNT right there. TNT right in front of me. TNT right in front of me. Okay, yep, thanks for that. And that is happening. Okay, there we go. Yep, this one was hiding, but there we go. Got it in the end. Now, I think I'm good to head back. And I fall. Okay, okay. Head through this room, then head left and left again. Okay, and I need to be careful of this black goo, because if I touch it, it is game over. <laughs> Or it can be game over very, very quickly. Looks like most of the TNT has stopped, though. Maybe because I've been in the rooms already. I need to go through this one. Go left. Here. Get out, 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 get out. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Get, 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 get. Don't hit any of the black goo. 
I didn't, how, where? I didn't see it. I didn't see the black goo. Okay, 11 minutes now. 11 minutes. Can I, I can't really leap through this. Uh, yes, I can. Mm, yep, nice. Good, 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 good. This is the last room that I have to pass, which is, I believe, just through here. And then my portal should be right there. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this has been maybe the most stressful vault that I've ever done. But wow. Uh, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna go back on now. <laughs> Only 8,000 XP, which makes sense. But we did it. We, we ran an inscription vault, and that is exactly what we wanted to do. If I hadn't cursed it, I don't think it would have been worth the four Echo Gems and inscription pieces, to be completely fair. So I think it was the right call. I think uh, whether or not that is true, we will see in just a moment. I mean, to be fair, we got a lot of identified charm. Get back here. We got no gear. We got a bunch of this stuff, which to be honest, not really that interested in. But this though, this I am interested in because this is a lot of knowledge. <laughs> this is a lot of knowledge. We currently have 97 knowledge shards. And with this added, we have 134, 134 ladies and gentlemen, that's a lot. And if we do the math here, boom, boom, that's 16 knowledge stars that that I would say I think was worth it. It was a boost. It took some uh, resources, but it was a boost that we greatly needed. And most importantly, we survived it as well. Let's identify this thing. Uh, isn't that the one that I already have? Uh, actually, this is better. I'm going to use that. These are basically done. Uh, so can I use these for anything? I don't think so. I don't think I have any more trinkets either. I have trinket scrap, which uh, is not really useful. What can I use this for? Or what can I do with this? Vault recycler. So I think I need a vault recycler, which I don't think I've actually... Wait, yes, I have. That's this thing. So if I take my old trinkets, can I scrap them down? I can indeed, and I get what from it. Didn't seem like I got anything. Okay. Well, that was um, <clears throat> interesting. All right, I was going to run another vault just to run a normal one, but I actually think we should go ahead and do this. I think I should go ahead and pop on this and take this knowledge core, use this thing. I'll need a couple more knowledge cores, so that is going to be this and a bunch of Benyatide. That was two types of Benyatide, that's not what I asked for. Get this, get like some more of these and do this, boom, so that is 10. And that should be, actually, it's not going to be enough, is it? Because I need 14, was it? 14? That's the magnet, that's the thing. If I get getting easy villagers, first of all, this mod allows you to store and interact with villagers in block form, making it easy and fun to set up trading holes. It can also be used to farm resources with villagers, including iron, adds rewards to mod, bo mod boxes. So I'm going to use these, and how expensive was it? I forgot to look at it. 14, so I need a little bit more. When it comes to these knowledge cores, so let's go ahead and do these. So that's four. Uh, I'm needing one more. Boom. There we go. Convert this back. Put this back in. Put this here. And I'm going to need a little bit more diamond stuff here. And this is actually uh, we we haven't unlocked a mod in quite a while. I feel like so this is gonna be fun. There we go. And now we have how many? Fourteen left. Four, Fourteen. So this. I made too many, didn't I? There we go, 14. So that is, basically we have three knowledge stars left. See see what I mean there? See what I mean? I just clicked, I didn't press shift. It just added it, it it's annoying. <laughs> Refined storage is next, ladies and gentlemen. However, now though, mod boxes might be useful to see if we actually get anything. So that's a frame drawer controller. And that is a thermal generator. This is a furnace. Uh, come on. I haven't, I, I, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I didn't actually unlock it. It's really just boom, unlocked. Nice. And we get some trans box. Okay, this is why we, okay. Yeah, I just wasted a bunch. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, so that is a upgrade tier one. Ooh, this is good. This is a trader. Nice. And this is a furniture. I don't care about that. That's a draw upgrade. That's another thing. That's another thing. That's a, okay, right. Yeah, so we got, we got one. We, we got, okay, yeah, cool. Cool. But so this is a trader. If I place that down, uh, I suppose I need a villager in it. Do I have any villagers? 
I'm sure I had some, but I don't know like where I would actually place them or if they would even show up here. Um, hmm. I don't know where I've actually placed my villages, to be completely honest. I have some here. Where they are now, I don't know. Well, I suppose I need some sort of villager then. And if we go into easy villages here, there we go. So this is a villager. Ooh, and we can see what we can do with this. Okay, so that's a breeder. We can convert, uh, which does something. We have an incuba incubating thingy for baby villages and normal villages. Uh, okay, so if I press U on this, that can be used to make an iron farm. If I do auto trader, I, I feel like this mod need the need a uh, need a guide. But I suppose let me go ahead and go and fetch some villagers. I feel bad taking them from my neighbors though, because I feel like I've already done that. So I might go ahead and take them from over here. I need my thing. Here we are. Now I have never used this mod before. So I'm like, do I need villagers with jobs? Do I need villagers without jobs? I don't actually know. So I'm gonna take two of you. I'm gonna take you because you're a Fletcher. Fletchers are good. I'm gonna take you. That's four and I can do some breeding as well. So that should be good. So let's I suppose start off with making a breeder. So for this we need some wood, iron, glass panes and a bed. I have a bed, glass, basically I have everything. So there we go. Make a breeder. I think I'll be needing bread as well. I should probably do this in a better place, shouldn't I? I mean, I have shelves here for these guys. I could add some shelving over here for the villagers, couldn't I? Maybe on some rusty iron plate stairs. Doesn't really work, does it? Maybe if I take this down, take out this floor, then do it inside the wall. I think, yeah, this could actually work. I'm going to say that this works. So I have a breeder here. I can add food items here. And I suppose I right click with a villager and then two villagers. And I suppose that this is just going to do its thing then. Maybe because it has an output. I don't know if I does it need <laughs> does it need a lever or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I have seriously no idea what I'm doing. Um, I assume that this is yeah. Okay. I'm just going to leave that to to its thing. Next to it, we're going to set up a trader. And this just makes it so we can actually uh, have the Fletcher and it's not going to. Okay, that's cool. Auto trader. So I guess that's if we actually have like a flow of items, flow of sticks, we can just feed it into it and it can trade automatically. I kind of want to make a farmer and see what that does. Getting an iron farm would be kind of cool as well, though that is going to be expensive, isn't it? Um, incubator. I probably need that actually. Barterer, that's from Easy Piglin, so that's not going to be necessary. But all this is from Easy Villagers. Oh, we have a baby villager. Okay, the next thing we need to make then is going to be. I kind of need pipes for this. Uh, <laughs> is this. We get a little bit of wool, make an incubator. There we go. So put this down over next to it, I suppose. I don't know if it could be underneath it. We're just going to do this. Villager input, and it's going to grow, I guess. Do we see any pixels growing? Nope. Okay, not yet. So this is trading. This is incubation. Uh, I get, let's, let's try and make a farmer. And for the farm, I'm going to need some tinted glass. I need a block of chromatic iron. And I need a, a trader actually. So I need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and make this. So for this, I'm going to need a trader thing and then farmer thing, which is even more of this stuff. And then we have a farmer. Right now I need actually another one of these another trader and another farmer because then with the farm I could convert it into an iron farm. If I just have a little bit more tinted glass. Oh dear me, this is a lot of tinted glass. And then I need a thing here, which is expensive and two parks of which I do have. So this better be worth it. And just like that, we have an iron farm. Okay. Good, good. Uh, let's take a look at how things are looking now. Villagers growing. We have two baby villagers. Can we just add these? Uh, I guess they have to wait until this one is actually like fully grown. <laughs> so there we go. Output items. Farmer. Do we just add any villager? Yes. And I suppose that I will need to add some sort of seeds. So if I do, let's do potatoes. Potatoes are kind of cool, and we can sell those actually fairly easily. So if I add potatoes, I suppose. Yep, he's gonna farm them, I get. Okay, H hello, Enderman. 
Oh wow, these guys are actually doing this fast. Uh, okay. Next to this guy, then we're going to plop down the iron farm, and I suppose that's another villager. I need another villager, seriously. Um, I suppose I need, I need. Well, actually, what, what I was about to go and uh, <coughs> recruit, uh, hire a new villager, but I mean, I'm just waiting for this guy to grow, I suppose, and then, uh, then we're good, I guess. Ooh, he's actually farming potatoes. Why would I need body parts when I got the villagers that can, that can do it for me? This is cool. Oh, this is very cool, actually. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of farms. I'm gonna leave. I, I want a farmer for every single one of them so I can get passive, like potatoes and stuff, so I don't actually have to farm it myself. It looks cool in the base, but I'm gonna do it to make the villagers do it for me. This is cool. And I'm gonna need a lot of other trading. Oh, dear me. The, I'm hooked on this mod. I'm very hooked on this mod. <laughs> I'm not regretting this whatsoever. This is a bit of a slow process, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's scale this up a bit. Uh, I want a lot more tinted glass. How do I get amethyst shots? So uh, this is where I need create so I can start doing things like this. Or them. Oh, thermal expansion. I mean, this is craftable if I had this because that would be cool because I have a lot of that. If I have something with pulverizer, do I have pulverizer or anything? I do actually have pulverizer on this. So if I have like maybe let's say a 10 of these. Oh, dear me. This is breaking everything else. Okay. Uh, let's do it like this. Yep. Ooh. Okay, I didn't know that would work. So if I just do this, maybe? Okay, I can't use Vein Miner on it. That's fine. But look at all that. Okay, that's cool. That just made life a whole lot easier. Now I just need a lot of sand, of which I only have a stack. I mean, that's gonna go fast in this thing. But is it going to last me all the tinted glass that I'm going to be making? Uh, it actually is. Okay, cool. I also need a lot more chromatic steel uh, iron or ingots. It's actually been so long that since I've actually like crafted a bunch of these resources, like the carbon and whatnot. So it's fun getting back into the crafting of things. And with this, I'm gonna make a whole lot of chromatic steel ingots. There we go. Nice. Gonna get a stack of Laramar and turn it into perfect Laramar. And then I'm going to make uh four, I think. So I have five trader holes in total. Then I want uh how many seeds do we have? One, two. Three, four, five flax I want. And we have six and seven for carrots and potatoes. I need seven in total, so I need six of these. Got it. So that's all the chromatic steel ingots that I made. I need to make much more. So that's five. So I think this is right. Now I have six farms in total. And I can make exactly four more traders. This is perfect. I think, though, that I'm missing one, if I'm not being mistaken. Because I made more chromatic blocks. I'm gonna need to do some more of this. More tinted glass, please. Another trader. So we can make another farm. Okay, I think that this is most of it. <laughs> Maybe. Let's take a look at what, how things are going here. So I have, I still don't have an adult villager. How is this possible? Also, okay, this is actually going pretty decent, but how and why does this not happen? Do I need to like feed you anything? I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can't actually do anything. So I guess I have to just wait. Well, uh, even though these guys are fitting nicely in here, I think I actually might actually move the animals over to here and then maybe do something else on this wall. So I'm going to need another spot for these guys or another branch, if you will. And while I think the catalyst table fits nicely over here, I'm starting to think the inscription table should maybe go upstairs to where I'm actually doing the crystal modifications. So maybe if I go ahead and take you, place you over here, and maybe place the inscription table here with a chest here with the stuff. Actually, I suppose I can. Eh, it's only six slots, not really enough. So the inscription table is here. I could maybe have the catalysts down here as well. I'm gonna take a lot of this polished vault stone and vault cobblestone. Don't need that much, but still. I'm gonna make a little bit of a branch, I think, down here maybe. Maybe this much. And we could have basically villages on all these sides and like have a barge of stuff going on. And apparently, if we go ahead and do something like this and do this, we have rusty iron plates. Uses up the water, but with those we can make more rusty iron plate stairs. <laughs> that that I love that. 
Now I need to go ahead and replace the floor. I think I'm going to place something special in this floor. I think I'm going to use these wooden planks just to break up the... I th I, yeah, I think, I think that looks good. I actually think that looks decent. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to take down this very carefully because I want a better roof than that. Nice. I'm starting to like how this is getting along. I really want these nether brass lanterns used in this if I can. Do I have any chains? I do actually. So maybe I place... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, that. That looks a little bit weird, but I think I'll go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like... It's... It's... It, mm, yeah, yeah. I think it's... Mm, I think... Yeah. That's just, just, just something not right with it. I think this is fine. This is fine. Yep, this is fine. Good, good, good. I like it. With that done, do we have an adult? We do have an adult villager now. And if we place you in here like that, we should eventually be getting iron, I think. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to grab all of this and it actually keeps the inventory in them. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so reader and this is going to be here. I think we're going to have stuff like iron farms and whatnot over here. Uh, traders are going to be on this wall, so, um, uh, that only needs, leaves five slots for farms, and I need all these down. Let's remove these for a quick second. I'm gonna place you there, and then all these other ones are gonna go here. I suppose we could take this out, place this back there, obviously replace this with, uh, with the stairs, and place the breeder here. And the incubator there. We could have the iron farm there because it's a farm. So like this. This makes sense to me. And then we need villages for these, of course. And we are currently uh, making more villages. This sounds weird, but yep, it's happening. And then we can have traders at this wall. So I think I need three more traders. And then we just need to fill them up with villages and different... Um, different things to do. Don't know if I... What happens if I actually take a like a villager that doesn't have already have a job in there. Don't know what what's going to happen, but we're only one way to find out, I suppose. And so I have wheat seed. I have carrots. I already have a potato. I am going to get melon seed, pumpkin seeds, beetroot seed. I don't have a flax, but to start off with, this should be fine. I can put a wheat seed in here. I can put a carrot seed in there. Mel oh, okay. Melon and pumpkin doesn't work. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So it has to be something the villagers can actually farm, which I suppose these four are it. Maybe flax as well. I don't know if they can farm that. This is very, very slow, I have to say. Don't know if I need to add anything, but I mean, this is really slow as well. So I guess it makes sense. Also, I'm going to just do this because, um, yep, there we go. I don't know if we're going to get any particle indications that he has actually moved on, but here we go. This is how I'm now going to get my emeralds, <laughs> basically. Ooh, and I can choose their um their thing. Okay, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, okay, that means I'm gonna get some things going here. So I already do have because it. Oh, I need to search for the profession. So if I search for farm, I already have two actually pretty high level farmers in here. Okay, hold the phone then. So I have one Fletcher here, I can have another Fletcher there, and do that, nice. And then I can have the farmers here, essentially, because I already have traded these pretty high up. And considering they take flax seeds for emeralds, I assume they can also, uh, actually, uh, or sorry, yeah, yeah, they take flax seeds and give me emeralds for them. I assume that that means I could also, like, do this with the flax seeds, maybe, I don't know. We have another village in here, so let's go ahead and plop you into farming. That should give me wheat. And I can... Ooh, I'm loving this mod. I can fill out these slots now. And I don't know what other jobs I actually want. I think the farmers and the fletchers are cool. But I mean, when it comes to villagers, I don't know if I could actually in any way see, like, what you can actually use, the village, like, what professions in here. Does it look like it? But still, now I have the... I may not want to add, like, all this stuff here. I'm going to put the villages that actually grow up. And I'm actually going to put them, like, into the farming ones. And I'll have to see if I can actually... If you guys know any other good stuff to put in these farms, do please let me know down below in the comments. And we're getting high now. 
<laughs> this is cool. But yes, on a calm note, let me dial down the excitement, even though I am very excited. If you guys have any suggestions of like jobs to use that can benefit me in the future for stuff that the altar can provide me in the recipes, do let me know down below in the comments because I don't actually know what jobs to put in. I'm not going to put anyone in that I know that I'm not going to use or rather that I don't know I'm going to use. So I'm going to put them in when I see them uh, or when I discover an item that I can get from trading. These guys are just going to give me emeralds, basically. These guys are going to make sure that I have the crops that I need at all times, essentially. Ooh, seeds, though. Ah, uh, yeah. I would assume, though, that if I get refined storage, I could actually use these guys or, like, attach them to the refined storage network and then pull out the items. That's going to be pretty cool. And so I can also filter the stuff. One final thing. Actually, not that. Let's use a barrel because it's okay. I don't have a barrel. Hold on. I just want to see if these guys automatically uh, put stuff into a chest underneath it or an inventory. It does not. Okay, good to know. So I would, ha I would have to pull it out, maybe with a hopper or something. But you guys get the point. I'm very happy with this. I think this was a great investment. Maybe I need some more of these. These are just empty for when I find items that actually need to be traded in or that I can use trading to get in. These guys just got to found stuff. Uh, these are my emerald producers, I suppose. <laughs> Things are good. Things are good. This is a great, great mod. And I mean, the auto trader is going to be really cool later on in the game as well, because, well, it'll just be able to make me endless amount of emeralds if I just have a passive carrot farm, for example. It's going to be cool. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I have no idea how long this is. I've been recording this for an hour and a half, and uh, it's been fun. It's been chaotic, and then it has been very fun. Very much fun. I love the mod. This is way too close. I'm going to stop now. But yes, I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.